Okay, I can't move that. Oh, tinderbox. Almost missed you. There we go. Remove the crosshairs to make it more realistic. More immersive. Make it harder to look around. So, refinery is closed in. I got skin growing on walls. There's a laboratory and also a wine cellar. So those are my three places. And, uh... That's it, I guess, for now. I guess I gotta figure out to eat her a way to remove the the skin. So maybe a knife? Ooh. This is a nice part of the castle. Le be le bre rari. Rare books. Oh. Oh, libri rari. Is that? Is that Latin? That could be Latin. I'm gonna assume it's Latin. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. All right, We've got some more backstory here. Apparently, Daniel is an archaeologist and or uh, someone who likes to dig through old places and take stuff back to Britain. British. There you go. Tinder boxes don't work on fireplaces. All right, fine. I think I'm still tripping, tripping out. This could be very much Latin. I, I it, uh, it's not Spanish, obviously. Anything that's close to Spanish, there, there's very little that could be close to Spanish and not be Spanish or Latin. You have Italian, Portuguese, and French. Those are all pretty close. They're all basically the same thing. Daniel is fucking losing. I can't touch the books in here? Alright, fine. Listen, man. Listen. Keep yourself together. You fucking fool. Oh. I, I'm not going to... Okay, he's not going to talk, so I'm not going to read. Uh, Baron, bring him back. Contract to rain. The three years of freedom shall be... Yes. I read it. You can pause it and read it if you want. I render everything at 7.20, so it's not going to matter. It'll be clear for all of you. Dear God, get to the light. You little pussy. God. God. Seriously. Nope. The story. I heard someone. Stuff's going down in that room, probably. Nope. 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 Let's be nice. This isn't my house. Close these drawers. Make a, make a mess of every other room. Close the drawers in this room. I see you on the desk. Ooh. There you go. I love this little hand that appears when I can grab stuff. It kind of reminds me of like point and click games that I used to play when I was younger. Anything in there? No. Hmm. Okay. Talk to me. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I leave. I take a potion. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful 
They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Did he... Did he just leave... Did, did he just leave a, uh, like... Ah, uh, oh my god. Oh god, literary statements elude me when you kind of leave people hanging. He left himself hanging in his own journal entry. That's a weird... Oh, look. Shit happens. Old tomes. Oh, losing it. Losing it. Oh, there's nothing in there. Losing my mind. Music's playing. Daniel, keep yourself together, you fucking baby. Here, I'll give you some light, okay? Wait, if you start losing your mind, if music start playing? That's fucking amazing. Okay, okay, okay. I got this going. Can I move that? Oh. Okay, you see, I'm kind of scared of using the tinder boxes, and at the same time, I don't want to use the oil in my lantern. Historic. Local history. Oh, got a journal thing. What you saying there? The door leading to local history room is locked, and there's another entrance. Let's look for the other entrance, shall we? This room looks well lit. If I'm going to be looking for another entrance, it's going to obviously be here, because you can't enter that room from that side. Is that a Yeti? Well... Stuff happens. Alright. Oh, is that oil? Yes! Oil! Good times. To be had by oil. Scrolls, scrolls, scrolls. Or really just pieces of paper and call you up in a Okay. We got some stuff here. Some text I can't really read. Wow. See, look, someone fixed that, but they didn't clean this up. Half-ass jobs, people. Half-ass jobs. Whoa, fucking it. Losing it. Going down. It's okay. Here we go. 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, balls. I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. 
The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Okay, more storyline here. There's a nuclear ball. It's glowing. It's probably nuclear. And Daniel decided to go ahead and touch it. And he suffered some kind of brain trauma due to that. Okay, this is the local history room, isn't it? Okay. Can't break it by hand. Let's see if there's anything in here I can use. Tinderbox! Come to me, my friend. Good times to be had by all. Okay. Oh, look. Maybe there's something in here I can use. Or I can just take all this stuff. Music's playing some more. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Alright. There's no... Ugh, okay. I'm guessing the person we just finished hearing was Alexander. Did we hear him before? In the in the lobby, in the, the great hall of this of this structure. There's nothing I can do. Can I use a rock? Can I pick that up? Oh I can. Pow! Miss. Did it miss? Wow, that's one hell of a arm, man. I hit the floor but the but the place just lit up alright. It's going down. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. All right. There's some sort of secret door mechanism in the local history room. Oh, you think so? You think there's some kind of secret door? I wouldn't. I wouldn't have never guessed. I would. You could probably feel the cold draft coming from that. From that hole. Oh, yoink! If the sound stops, you'll have to start over. Which makes me think it's like a pull a book puzzle. But which books? They all. <laughs> You're kidding me. Is that obvious? Okay, that's two. Is there a third one? There, that's number three. That's that's freaking amazing. Use lantern, break glass. Didn't work. Use book, break glass. Fuck out my face. Oh. Another region ritual law. Go ahead and read guys. Enjoy. Next page. I'm gonna do this off screen. Enjoy my little reading. The Immortal Baron. The Baron of Brendenburg. Brendenburg is an awesome name. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me get my let me get my lantern before I fucking oh. I gotta force it. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Ready? And one. No. No. Two. Three books with no titles. I'm sorry, Alexander, but you... You are not an originalist. What's going on here? Nothing here. Hmm. Oh. There's a lot of, like... Pictures here based on Christian... Uh, biblical stories. Oh, oh, 
more New Testament than anything else. What was that? Okay. That wasn't scary. I hear what I believe is footsteps behind me. But I think that's just dirt falling. Even I get paranoid in my infinite unfaziness. Regarding the closing of the wine cellar. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered our research long enough. Bloody blah, blah. Read on your own. Okay. Oh, door open on its own. Have I been here before? Oh, I have. I went in a big circle for that key. Oh, I saw you. I saw, I'm going after you. I saw your shoulder. Where you at? What's going down, homie? You think I'm scared of you? You, you, who you went nowhere. That, it's a bit weird, but I'm not fully freaking out. I did run out of oil, though. So, uh, I should, I guess I, hmm, hit tab. What's this key for? The wine cellar. So, so, I go to the wine cellar now. Okay, that makes sense. Yo, know, I got six of these. Yeah, awesome. Am I done here, then? I'm gonna assume I'm done here. Let's get the fudge out. I don't know where you are, but I saw your shoulder. I'm gonna tell you, you can do a way better job of scaring somebody. Like that. That's, that is slightly, t oh fuck, what? You kidding me, all right. The, 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 the flesh on the walls actually hurt me, that's, <sighs> I shouldn't be surprised. Ooh. I knew I would have found something relevant in here. To the wine cellar! Hmm. Still skin on that? Looks like it. Alright, to the wine cellar. It's going down over there. Boom. I think that flash means I solved the puzzle. And I know that solving puzzles regain some of my sanity. Is there another way to regain sanity? Besides staring at light and solving puzzles? Can I, like, I don't know, call someone on my cell phone? Okay. Beware of standing in the darkness. Society change. Turn on the lights and the environment to blah, blah. Basic stuff. We already learned this. See, see, now that sounds like some dude. Where did the Baron go? There he go. Who cares? He left us up wine to last us a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow. <laughs> All right. So I'm guessing this is this room here. I just came down these stairs. Uh, so there's kegs over there. Um, over there, kegs. And there's tools in here. It looks like milk and grapes, which is probably just wine. Uh, over there, because, you know, grapes, wine. And barrels here, wine there. So let's go to the tool place first, where there's obviously blood on the floor. Really shiny blood. Really pretty blood. That's some pretty ass blood. What? What is this place? It, it's... There's, there's blood everywhere. I just picked up. See, you see that? That would hurt. That would hurt a lot. Get up. 
Get up. 